Uh, basketball players will take a knee and not stand for the American national anthem, yet they will bend over backwards not to criticise and to overlook human rights abuses in China. Where are these people's priorities? It's the king of wokedom is the NBA and the coaches and the administrators. And it is starting to have an effect on their viewing. So the, the finals last year, uh, the average watching viewership of a game was just under 7 million. So to put that in context, In the 1990s, 1980s, they were getting upwards of 37 million people watching a game. Uh, The recent games have all been on free to air, so they can't use cable TV as an excuse. The recent college basketball finals between two tiny little colleges with no sort of uh, background infrastructure, that got 17 million viewers. So the NBA figures are disastrous. Now, I admit that the product is not particularly good. I'm a basketball player who's not particularly good. Uh, just a hail of three-pointers with dunks, mm. whereas basketball is quite quite good. It's pure basketball. But, I mean, who wants to tune in and watch a bunch of, you know, billionaire basketball players like LeBron run down everything about the U.S., they kneel, and then, as you said, they, they haven't got to be a appraised. say about China. Yeah. Because they've contract with China. But that's where the commercial element of this makes sense because you know they might be losing ratings in the United States, but they're getting a hell, whole hell of a lot more revenue from China. That's the, the, the big issue here. Well, they're getting a lot. I don't think they're getting more than from the US. And these numbers are really bad for them. But, you know, they're prepared to say things about, you know, police murders in the US, which factually aren't correct. Mm. But when it's actually asked for LeBron, what do you think about Uyghurs in concentration camps? Oh, well, you know, it's not my job to comment on politics. Well, that's all you have done for the last two years.